Well, today on Nation of Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking all about systems and the five different systems you can add to your business that is just going to blow you up this year. Uh, if you're a window cleaner or you just want to spend some time, either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, I'm so glad you found it. Podcast has been going on six and a half years, all related to the business side of window cleaning. Go back, listen to, and watch all the episodes. Uh, it's anywhere podcasts are found and even on YouTube. So go back, search it. Uh, I'm glad you're here. If you're not and you're an OG, what's up? A couple of the OGs, uh, people who buy from me, who are awesome, I want to start off by saying, what's up to Thomas Oakley? What's up, man? Uh, and Seth Bowers, what's up? Uh, just a couple of people who are amazing in the industry, if you don't know them. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. But on to the show either way. Today we are talking all about systems and the top five that I would add. Now, if you didn't know me and systems, I really, 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 really like systems. Systems just basically take things that you need to do, systemize it. So now there's structure, there is accountability, but also repeatability, and it just makes it happen. Because a system is in place, it means it is a process of how you do a thing. And you probably haven't thought about it to the degree, but when you systemize something, it means it's going to get done the exact same way every single time. If you have a system that, you know, when you pull up to a stoplight, you come to a complete stop, wait three seconds, and then proceed to turn right or whatever. A stop sign will say. <clears throat> That's the system. Now, people don't do the system. Accidents happen. You get tickets, that kind of thing. But if you did the system, the way that it's supposed to be done, the structured thing, that is why it's there. That's why the law is there. That's why they tell you that's how to do, do something. The, the systems allow you to repeat something and do it the exact same way all the time. It's why in McDonald's there's color pictures of how to assemble a burger. Because every burger in any McDonald's across the entire world has to be the same structure, the same look, the same, right? They have a system in place, and it sounds ridiculous, but if they didn't, then everybody kind of brings their own thing to it, and it's not done the same way each time, or in the same place, or the same country, or the, right? So systems are incredibly valuable. They're not only incredibly valuable, but they will grow your business like nothing else has. Now, a lot of systems we talk about, I know, I'll get into it. But if you're looking this year, you're like, man, I'm doing it this year. This year, I'm going to see like, I want to see what I could do with this thing. I'm telling you, systems are what's going to get you there. It is not a sexy subject. It's in fact, pretty dull. But this is what differentiates a big business or a really strong business with a weak one. And the first one I'm going to talk about is phone bids. Now, in this, if you want to watch something more in depth on bidding every job over the phone, there are a ton of podcasts that I've done on that. Just uh, go back and search like phone bids. I'm pretty sure you'll find something. But with phone bids done that way every single time, people go, well, how do you do that? How do you, you create a system. That means that when somebody calls, if you or any of your staff answers the phone, it's done a certain way. Answer the phone, they go, hey, I'm calling, you know, I'm looking to get a bid for some window cleaning. Great. Well, let me ask you a couple quick questions. We'll get you a bid here within the next 30 seconds. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And then you start asking your questions. Your questions. Okay, let me get a little bit of information for you. Uh, just uh, what's your name? What's your address? What's your email? We'll send you the bid. Is this a good phone number? Real quick. And finally, how'd you hear of us? The most important question that most of you are not asking every single person. How did you hear of us? 
If you don't find that out, you don't know what to spend your money on. You don't know what's really working. Make sure to ask that question. But then you get right into the bid. Okay, perfect. So what size house, right? We go over kind of the questions to ask. If every one of the questions is asked, and within five questions, you can literally know everything you need to know to bid that house, to give them a price. And then when all that's said and done, say, okay, great, perfect. So with your house uh, for inside and outside, uh, complete cleaning, your price is gonna be $299. And our first available appointment is actually coming up on Tuesday the 7th. And uh, that is going to be an early afternoon appointment. Does that work for you? Be about, uh, you know, between one and two o'clock. I've gone from somebody who's like, I just want a price to, here's your price and your appointment, let's book it. If you can do that fast, if you can do that efficiently, you can handle more people getting bids, more people getting scheduled every single day. If you have the pricing, the structure, the uh, questions down pat, if you have all that down pat, you can hand that off to somebody in the office and they can make that happen. They can do the bids. They can schedule people. And now every call you're getting, a every call is answered. Remember that. Every call is answered. Every person asking, not only by the time they're done, they have the price. They have their appointment. You've booked them in. Upsell them later. And it didn't take me 30 minutes to go, oh, I'll go get there when I get there to get you a forbidden per No. Two minutes. They're absolutely done. They're absolutely booked. They're not calling your competitors. They're not going to call around. They're not going to wait for you to show up. They're not going to second guess things. They're not going to change their mind. They're not going to have something else come up. It's done. Remember, what we do is a luxury window cleaning. People don't need that. But what they do is, if they are in the spot that they want to pay somebody to do that, they could always do it themselves, but if they're paying somebody to do that, the actual act for them, the hardest part for them is to book it. That's why people wait. That's why, you know, if you need to have anything done, if you're, you know, procrastinating a bit, you don't want to talk to somebody. You don't want to go through all that. You just made it super easy. So by doing a phone bid, you save a ton of time. You book them. And it's done. It's off their plate. That's They can't be more happy. Yeah, eventually the windows will be, oh, my windows are done. I got to book that. All right, call it. It's done. Yep, cool. It's done. It's in the books. Then they can forget about it. You've just made them happy. And you've done it faster. You've closed more people. You've taken two minutes to do that as opposed to, you know, 30 minutes to an hour for every single bid. System number one can be multiplied, duplicated, every call be done. And now you can do a bid, your uh, office can do a bid, the guys in the field could do a bid, same questions, same process. Here's how we figure it out. There's a price. The number one thing, by the way, to this, just to step off, there's episodes on phone bids, go look at it. But people always say, well, what happens when, you know, you, you bid it wrong? Like, I am not looking to bid it absolutely specifically each time. Like, if I say it's $299, but really it's, you know, $301.74, I don't care. The questions I ask, I know the window type, I know the windows count, I know the structure, I'm looking at it on satellites, I know. If I'm off a hair, I'll adjust it just doesn't happen but maybe once a year the amount of time that's saved is by far way more valuable than having everybody be the absolute perfect to the penny price okay phone bids first one absolutely amazing but the next one you don't think of is now that you got the people maybe you're running multiple trucks maybe you're running running single trucks maybe it's just you in a truck one of the things that people do not take into account as a systemized thing is your schedule. With your schedule and what we do, it costs us money, time, labor, to drive from job to job. And if you have everybody in the same neighborhood, perfect. You can get so much work done because you're not wasting half an hour every time driving. You're not going, setting up, tearing down for each person and doing the drive, hitting traffic, doing all that, right? So 
why don't we take that and elaborate a little bit more? Why don't we take scheduling and change it to the point where now, if you have multiple areas, you have specific times for that area. One of the things that we always get in the habit from, especially in the beginning, is we book just like filling up a box with something. The one thing goes on the bottom, the next thing goes on top of that, the next thing goes on top of that, the next thing goes on top of that. They're all touching, and that's how you fill a box. But instead, what if we did this? You have town A, and you have town B. Town A, you're in most of the time, but town B, you're in a few times a week. What if Tuesdays, you only do town B? That means that everybody, when you're scheduling, you can still do the box, stacking it all up. But if they're in town A, they get scheduled on the first available appointment, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. If they're in town B, they get scheduled on Tuesday. Now, are there times in this all happening that, you know, as the structure goes in, maybe there's some free time here or there? Yeah, there are, there is. And there, there may be other things you're doing or selling in that area, but as this grows, as you do your dentist closes and things like that, as you build this, you're not going to have time. You have to then delegate. Because if I can make my drive time smaller, I can get more done. I can get more jobs done, but I can also bring in more income. If you're driving back and forth, to town A, then back to town B, then town A, man, I only got three jobs done today because I was driving all day. That's your fault. To be efficient, you need to pack the items in the box so they can be touching, so they're close. So look at where you are, look at your scheduling and look at how you can optimize that. People don't think that that's necessarily something that's systemized. People think that that's just something you just have to fill, but you create that. If in a perfect world, anytime somebody was in the subdivision that you were in and you do a bunch of those ones, anytime somebody from that subdivision calls, you put them all in a row, but it can't happen that way really. Because it's so specific that you put one and then, well, another one's not calling. By the time you do that one, you got this open gap. You can't do that. But if you're in a town and you can start working that, you sure can. Even if to start, it's Tuesday mornings, you're in here. So you drive the long drive once. Remember, systemizing is being able to take the time we work, A, doing it way easier, not working harder, we're working smarter, but also getting the most amount of work we can do, bringing in the most income in that amount of time. And this all comes, if you ever meet a company, I know a company will say um, two people, one truck, it's two people. They bring in $480,000 with two people. You're like, whoa, man, I got like two trucks to do that, three trucks to do that. Well, A, part of that's pricing, part of that's structure, part of that's scheduling. What if in your entire day, your crews do $1,000 a piece, we'll say. But what if just by changing the schedule, they could do $1,200 a day, every day? Like, we're looking at the efficiencies in an eight-hour day. You think, oh, yeah, but it's just like a 30-minute drive. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's 30 minutes per person. That's two people, one full hour, and two full hours to drive there and drive back. Two man hours. That's one day. You wasted two man hours. Put that in your whole year. How many times do you do that, right? Systemizing allows you to make, this is what we do when this happens. When a thing happens, this is how we do it. Every time. Systemize your schedule. I'll go off. This podcast here, by the way, if you didn't know, I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. So this podcast is sponsored by me, sort of. I would love to be your rep. I do the shameless plug all the time. If you're new to the show, you've probably heard it every single episode for almost seven years. I've said this, but I do. I literally, this is how I make my cheddar. Um, It costs you nothing extra to use me. All you do is just literally text me and be like, yo, everything's in my cart, man. Here's my cart. I save the, when you click save this cart in the checkout screen, it even gives you a little number. You can send me that number. I can see it. Tell me your name. I can see it. 
It takes like a snapshot of your cart. And then instead of you hitting checkout, I hit checkout. By the way, checking everything that you have there, making sure everything fits. You can ask all your questions. Absolutely. I want to help you with all that too. But then I put the order in and uh, yeah, high five from you. That's literally the best thing you could possibly do for me is let me be your rep. So thank you in advance for everybody who does that. Um, and some of you will text me on a Saturday or a Sunday um, and be like, you know, three minutes later, like, hello, what are you, hello? Bear with it. Weekends? Chill. It's a weekend. Orders still don't ship on Saturday and Sunday. We're not Amazon, right? All ships Monday. But everything we do does ship same day. And it's uh, free over $49. Anyway, there you go. Shameless plug, please let me be your rep. Uh, secondary, if you haven't yet, there is a magazine that is made just for you. A real paper magazine, like a real magazine. It's called the American Window Cleaner Magazine. It's awcmag.com, another project that I am incredibly happy about. Um, I bought the magazine now two years ago, two and a half years ago. We've changed everything. You get stickers, you get... Uh, a magazine, not only in the magazine that's coming up, that's in print right now, is completely different. But moving forward, we're just changing directions and uh, guided. Anyway, it's going to be awesome. Go to awcmag.com if you haven't gotten the subscription. If you have and you don't have it anymore, get it again. You're going to be absolutely amazed. Anyway, there you go. Shameless plug. I'm back to the show. I have to do that, by the way. If I don't, you know, make money to buy groceries, then... <laughs> <laughs> or as everybody always tells me, hair gel. I have to buy hair gel. Um, anyway, by the way, if you place an order with me, those whopping uh, pennies that I make on that, uh, I will be able to afford more hair gel. So thank you. Um, anyway, okay. So there you go. I'm going to touch real quick also on repeat work in general. Now, my favorite thing that I've had over the past years is this thing that I kind of coined the dentist free or the dentist clothes because it takes a bit to get the traction for people to like really just you don't have to trust me you may not know me in real life you just you know listen or watch but this is one of those things that will absolutely change the entire direction and everything about your business by doing this and it's a dentist clothes and people don't systemize the repeat work uh, literally, this is years ago, and I still, I know the guy's great, he's awesome, but man, I, he is absolutely not doing it the way that I think, and who cares what I think, it's what he thinks. But uh, I was told, I was told that I don't call anybody, text, email, if and when they're ready to hire me again, they just call me, I don't want to bug them. Man, you're, you're not utilizing that. You're not bugging people. I mean, in all of the customers I've ever called back for window cleaning or in dentist clothes or anything, I've had maybe, and I'm guessing, I can't even remember, but maybe one person who somehow weirdly took, I don't even think it was one person that took offense to this. This is what we do. When you go to the dentist, which I have an appointment later today, which is hilarious and ironic. Anyway, you leave there with the next appointment. You've never questioned it. The dentist is who told you that you need to be there again in six months. It's just, that's what they do. And everybody does it and it's cool and nobody's ever questioned it. Nobody goes, what? How dare you want me to get my teeth cleaned again in six months? <laughs> You're just trying to take my money. That's window cleaning. We know cleaning your windows more often, A, makes it easier. A, makes your view more beautiful. You're always able to look through clean windows. You're not letting them get so gnarly that the windows get damaged and it takes you so much more time. You got to charge more. So why not have people do it more often? But people don't systemize getting the referral. They don't, they don't get that repeat work. They go, well, I got to get all these new customers and I do all this stuff. And then when they come to me, great, but now I got to find more customers. But you miss the opportunity that if you have 100 customers and you're doing the dentist clothes, you now have 200 customers that do it every six months. You could literally not get any new customers and have a, 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 a incredibly successful business. But now take the advertising, take the referrals, take the everything else and add that to the dentist clothes, the repeat work. If you don't systemize making sure the repeat work 
is just that, repeat. Every customer, every customer repeating with you. Then all you're doing is chasing new things. If you go out there and catch a fish and you eat that fish, you're full. Sweet. I got to go catch more fish. Right? It's that teach men fish philosophy. But if you take that fish and now you put it in a pen with other fish and they have more fish and babies and they continue to do it. Now, every time you bring fish in, if you watch that population and make sure that they're having their babies and you're not eating more than you have, you'll always have fish. It's the same concept kind of in business where so many people are so excited for the rush of having new customers. They think that's how they get big. I got to get more customers. I got to get more customers. I got to get... Do you have customers? Well, yeah. What if you just got them more also? Right? Again, passive active going out getting people passive letting people come to you you're going to get people new people if you're doing that part right but focus on the repeat and make it part of a system to get that repeat done again dentist clothes go watch it it's my favorite thing in all the world but uh in that same realm you also have to systemize your advertising calendar i used to call it a marketing calendar and then i explained it's not really market it's more advertising Advertising is what's being paid, active. Marketing is what's out there getting you, bringing in. Doing an advertising calendar, which we're coming out of winter. A lot of you have done that. Most of you have not. And you go, oh man, I need to advertise. Well, what's going to happen is eventually you're going to be busy. You're not going to think about advertising because you're busy. But then what happens? You ate your fish. In the new customers, we need to have new customers. We grow with new customers. We strengthen with repeat. If you don't have that and you're not doing it automatically, and it's not structured or systemized, you're not going to do it. So many people go, well, man, this is what I spent last year. How'd you come up with that number? I don't know. If you really want to change your business into a big business, a real legit business. Take 10% of your gross of last year. Make that your budget. I'm going to spend $20,000 this year on advertising. Wow. I can't I can't spend 20,000. You're not spending. If you if I said to you, "Hey, uh, if you give me $20,000, I'm just gonna turn around, go open my safe, and I'm gonna give you $100,000. You'd be like, what's the catch? No, no catch, I'm just gonna rob and give it to you. No catch, guaranteed. There's police officers standing there making sure everything's done or whatever. This dumb scenario I made up. You'd be like, yeah, okay, hold, just let me get my, can I do more than 20,000? At that point, you don't look at it as like, oh man, I can't give this guy $20,000. You're looking at it as like, he's giving me back money. That's advertising. There's so many of you out there who are like, oh man, I can't spend $300 a month. I can't spend $500 a month. I can't spend $1,000 a month. You're not spending any of it. You're getting more work for that. That's like saying, ah, I can't spend $1,000 a month. Or saying, ah, I can't get $20,000 worth of new work a month. That's just not in my budget to have $20,000 worth of new work. Like That's the concept of people that fight advertising like I can't spend it. Are you sure this is okay? Can I only spend $5 a day instead of... like That's the idea of advertising. Advertising is only spent when you've done something severely wrong and you're not bringing in money. If you're not split testing and doing it right. But you have to have an advertising calendar. I'm spending $20,000 of my money to advertise. Here's what it looks like. I broke it down and I know. Week one, this. Week two, this. Week three, this. So that every week, no matter if you're busy, you're slow, it's raining, it's snowing, it's... Once that starts, this is what I'm doing. Boom, 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 boom. And it gets done that way, regardless of what else is happening in your life. If it's systemized, it gets done. If it gets done, it brings you in money. 
Now, this isn't the episode I'm talking about, but you got to split test ads. You got to do it right. You got to do the, 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 the work to make your ads even better. Like if you're spending $20,000 to advertise and you're getting you know $20,000 worth of new work in, your ads suck. That's not great. Change things, right? We take all of our systems, put it all together, find out why it's not working, where our things can be changing. Oh, is there split testing going? Are we doing that right? Ads work all the time. Almost everything you've bought ever has been some form of advertising. No, no. Okay. Have you ever been to Tractors of Bly? Why'd you go there? Okay, here's a great example. I did not see an ad for them. I drove by, uh, you know, I saw the sign and I was like, oh, I'll go. That's advertising. You saw their sign. Why, why do stores have signs? Well, so you know that they're the, yeah. Like advertising is everything. I've had people literally tell me before, oh, advertising doesn't work in my area. No, your ads don't work in your area because your ads suck. Hard truth of the matter is they suck. That's why. Now, very, very seldom. I don't like radio. I don't like billboards. Like certain things are like, yeah, that's, eh, I don't like them. But like advertising, Facebook ads, EDDM, that type of thing. If you're doing that and it's not working for you, it's you. It's your ads. You're not doing it right. But get the advertising calendar in there. It allows you to know what you're doing so you can build it out, systemize everything, and then just plug and play. If you're busy or not, all you're doing is pulling up a folder of the ads you had already built out, click and go. Systemize it. And the final thing I'm going to talk about in systems is something that you probably still are not systemizing either. And it's your closing with a customer. It doesn't have to be yours. It could be your guys if you're running crews. But our closing was the same with every person and any crew. And the whole thing is the tech start to pack everything up. You go up to the door, ring the doorbell. Hey, Mr. Jones, okay, we're all set and done. Everything's wrapping up. Windows look amazing. Here's the part where I would initially say uh, windows look amazing. Uh, just to let you know, in those front windows, there is some hard water. It's gonna look like water spots, but it's mineralization that's staining in the glass. We do take that off. Um, but uh, that uh, pricing starts at $25 a paint. So if it's driving you nuts, let us know. We have to schedule something special for that. Um, but uh, I want to let you know. If there's an issue, that's where we say that, right? That window in the back, there is a crack in the bathroom window. You've probably already seen that. We didn't touch that window. It's our policy if there's a crack or damage to a window that we don't clean it or touch it at all. We don't want to make it worse, right? First part. Comma. Did you get a chance to look at everything? How's everything look? Oh, windows look great. Oh, good, good. Well, I'll tell you, you're going to see the windows in different lights, morning, noon, and night. And if you see any spot streaks or smears, please let us know. We have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Just let us know. We'll come back out, touch that window up, make it look perfect for you. Oh, good. Oh, no, they look fine. Oh, they're great. Awesome. Okay, cool. So uh, for their next appointment, did you want to do that in three months or did you want to wait six months? Uh, six months actually gets you to, you know, uh, July 17th. Uh, could do the same appointment. You got that one to two o'clock if that still works for you. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Don't worry. We're going to call you the week before just to let you know, remind you it's there. Um, and uh, we'll keep you in the loop. But cool, you're booked in. Uh, so happy. We'll, we'll see you then. Um, again, in the very beginning, I gave them a bunch of paperwork. Uh, I'll take it back. If they haven't already handed it to me, I'll be like, okay. And then the paperwork with the uh, payment. Did you have that? I'll take that with me now. I always collect payment on every job. If they don't have that, oh, well, no problem. We can take a card for you right now. Let me get that pulled up. Hold on a second. I do not want to spend my money, paying somebody to go get my money. If they oh, I'll send it in the mail, and they don't, and then I have stuff. Somebody goes, that's none of that. Systemize the closing, and it happens every single time. I know what I need. I need my payment. I need my dentist clothes. I need to explain any issues if there are. 
maybe in your closing, you also say, hey, and just to let you know, we are a small business and reviews are amazing. So if you know anybody who needs anything from me or if uh, I could help any of your friends, please let them know. I've got a couple of my plastic gift cards in here and um, wanted to let you know, please pass it along. If you put any of those pieces, any of those pieces together, put it in there, put it in the closing, allow the closing to be systemized. And it will absolutely change what you're doing. Systems are boring. I know they're boring, but they're necessity for a company to run smoother, stronger, bigger. It's completely unsexy, I know, but there you go. Happy spring to you. Again, if you're getting that spring order in, um, big or small, literally, it does not matter. We ship over 49, so hopefully it's over 49, so we pay for the shipping, but please let me know. I really just genuinely love when you guys let me put your carts in for you. My number is 862-312-2026. I would love to help. I would love to answer questions. I would love to be your guy. So save my number. I'm the only jersey you know, I think. Probably. So go and do that. And uh, until next week, systemize anything you possibly can. But more importantly, go out there and be epic.